do you often encounter negative reactions to your story by the media? Have you ever encountered that? They just try to ignore me. That's been their strategy. And because I don't think they can really say anything to me. So their strategy has been we're just going to not talk to her pretty much at all. Right. Uh, but I still get around. <laughs> Usually when you hear, you know, abortion survivor or abortion is going to be covered, um, you, a, a person may get very, very defensive. But I like to just let people know, hey, you know, I care about you and I'm just telling you the truth about this. And there's hope for you if you're, you're pregnant and you're freaked out. There's a pregnancy resource center, just Google that in your town. Because as I said, I, I believe that people are feeling more and more worthless in society. But if I begin with, hey, do you know how valuable you are? Who knows if they, I mean, maybe they grew up with a parent saying how awful they were. And that could change their life. As you mentioned, abstinence, that seems to be laughed at, mocked. And then it's, you know, automatically everybody's just going to hook up and live with their boyfriend. Well, no. I am someone that deserves to be fought for and so are you and so as women we're running around saying how valuable we are but behaving as if we're beggars no no pro-life is about valuing life at any time and, and valuing point. your own life valuing who you are your body your your soul and I, I think I think we've forgotten that I think I don't think girls can hear enough that they are made for epic love, not average love. And I think most girls think, oh, well, that epic love doesn't really exist. But I think the opposite is true. I think it does exist, and we settle for average. Mm -hmm. And we haven't heard all of our lives so often how beautiful we are. And so I heard it said that we, treat, we, we teach others how to treat us. And doesn't it begin with something like this? hey, you have to fight for me. You stick a ring on my finger and I'll sleep with you. As an abortion survivor, what would you want the media to report on about it? I would want them to show a live 40 ultrasound in progress. And I would want them to report uh, the uh, that every woman can text HELP to 313131 to be connected to their local crisis pregnancy center. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yes, I've forgiven my biological mother for what she's done. I've told her so. Any woman listening or man listening that's been involved with abortion, uh, forgiving yourself is so important. And honestly, the only way to be free um, from the tragedy of abortion is just telling all of that to Jesus. But it's just important for people to understand that they are valuable and they are worthy of forgiveness and I don't believe in shame.